The world is old, much older than humans or the many species that inhabit it. But as the world changes, so do the animals. As they evolved and adapted to the changing conditions of the planet, they developed many unbelievable and strange ways to survive, while some still thrive today. From fish rarely seen residing in the deepest parts of our ocean, to a species that can reverse its age and live immortally, these are 15 of the oldest living species throughout history. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling! <laughs> Number 15. Geoducks We'll kick things off with one of the world's most unique and strange seafoods, the geoduck, which also just happens to be one of the oldest living creatures on planet Earth. The typical lifespan of these creatures is about 140 years, but the oldest one ever recorded was 168 years old. Primarily harvested on Canada's Pacific coast, these creatures are technically called bivalve mollusks. This unique clam can be found buried a little over a meter beneath the rocks and sand that make up the ocean floor. Across North American markets, you may see them sold as the king clam. Known as being super sweet with a nice, fresh flavor, the geoducks in Canada come with a bit of a crunch factor, separating it from geoducks caught in other parts of the world. Geoducks are the largest burrowing clams in the world and can sometimes even reach up to 10 pounds, measuring to as long as 10 inches. Oh, and one last thing. Over in China, these things are called the elephant trunk clam, and it's not hard to see why. Number 14. Horseshoe Shrimp There's a unique look to most of the creatures on our list today. That look is of prehistoric evolution. Just take a look at this little guy and the shield upon his back. Don't let its size deter you from these shrimp's extraordinary lifespans. The horseshoe shrimp is the second oldest species on Earth. Not only that, but the shrimp is nearly the same today as it was 200 million years ago. That means the horseshoe shrimp not only was around during the dinosaurs' time, but predates them and evolved before them. The horseshoe shrimp bore witness to the rise and fall of the dinosaurs and outlived it all, which is telling about the strength, characters, and perseverance of these tiny survivors. They mostly live in desert-type landscapes, where they can burrow themselves and emerge only for small windows of feeding time. They can lay millions of eggs in the sand that can be preserved for up to 20 years if conditions aren't hospitable for birth. With such a massive amount of these shrimp spawning in their incredible life-sustaining ways, these shrimp may just outlive humans too. Number 13. Lamprey Lampreys are ancient, slimy, and snake-like creatures that are a parasite and invader of the seas and lakes. The lamprey is a vicious parasite looking like a creature ripped straight from the pages of an H.P. Lovecraft tale. With multiple rows of teeth and a suction cup mouth, the lamprey can attach itself to its victim and slowly saw through the prey's flesh. They can wipe out an entire lake of fish, as the lamprey once did to Great Lakes in the 50s, bringing the fishing industry there to a resounding halt until the lamprey had been dealt with. The lamprey is known to be an ancient creature, but exactly how old it is is more difficult to determine. Because of their lack of bones or cartilage, lamprey fossils are rarely ever found, making it difficult for scientists to determine the exact age of the species. Best guess today is 360 million years of continuous evolution and predatory habits. Turns out, the method is working pretty well for them thus far. Number 12. Coelacanth The coelacanth is a fish still alive today that is considered a living fossil. What the heck is a living fossil? At first, thought to be extinct with the cataclysm that ended the dinosaurs 65 million years ago, the coelacanth has shown strange signs of rising from the dead. And I'm not kidding, we're not talking about some zombie fish, we're talking about millions of years of evolution doing its thing. It wouldn't be until 1938 that the extinct fish would emerge from a state of extinction and fished out of the water by none other than a scientist. It died hours later and was officially identified as the legendary coelacanth fish and marked a historic point in the study of this ancient species. It wouldn't be until 14 years later that another coelacanth would be captured, observed, and studied. Then another decade and another. 
with such huge time spans between sightings, we're still left with a large gap of information about the living fossil that seems to come alive once every decade. This just adds to the vast amount of mystery still present in our world today, and that we have many years of learning ahead of us. Number 11. Horseshoe Crab Notice anything similar about this guy? Maybe it's name, maybe it's look. If you said horseshoe shrimp, you'd be right. In fact, it looks like a larger version of the shrimp, which is telling about the lifestyle of the bottom feeders in the distant past. Subject to constant attack from predators above, the crab and shrimp developed a shield to wear on its back nearly 400 million years ago to prevent any predator from taking a nibble as they scour the ocean floor. A whole new predator has taken a liking toward the endangered crab in this day and age, and that's humans. If you weren't aware, the horseshoe's blood is unique in many ways. The most substantial factor is the high price fetched for the milky blue blood. $60,000 a gallon as of the making of this video? Who the heck is paying so much for blood? Well, the medical and scientific community. It's blue because of the high content of copper. It is cherished for its high content of limulus amoebocyte lysate, or LAL, which acts as a highlighter of sorts that points out potentially lethal bacteria on the surfaces of medical or scientific equipment. To put it simply, it allows for the removal of harmful bacteria that would skew scientific tests or do more harm medically than treating. Number 10. Nautilus the Nautilus is a fascinating creature and is the last of living cephalopods whose bones are externalized as a hard outer shell. Because of the incredible depths at which these creatures reside, they are rarely observed. At night, they come to shallower waters of about 100 meters, which still puts them way out of reach from any recreational sightings. It's a fascinating looking creature, and it's said that the squids we know today might have once looked as the Nautilus does, but through evolution shed its shell as it became an alpha predator of the deep. The Nautilus traces its ancestors back 500 million years. What's more, as fossils as evidence, the Nautilus hasn't changed. That's a long time of relatively safe living conditions. It hasn't needed to adapt in 500 million years. Because of how deep they reside in the ocean, it's hard to determine the number of species remaining. The largest trade materials from the creatures are their shells, which are commonly found in art dating back to our ancestors back in ancient times and still in use to this day. Number 9. Jellyfish it's a broad term encompassing thousands of jellies, none more famous than the immortal jellyfish, which is the only species known to man that can reverse its age. There are thousands of different types of jellyfish with newly discovered types every day. They've been swimming in our oceans, boneless, brainless, and bloodless for hundreds of millions of years. Jellyfish are so numerous because of their infinite methods of reproduction. They can reproduce asexually without a partner or with a partner by releasing seeds and eggs into the water. The immortal jellyfish, on the other hand, turns back the hands of time, effectively reversing its age. The funny thing about this reaction is that it is this type of response that's activated when the jellyfish is stressed. That's taking coping with stress to an entirely different level. I'd love to be able to just panic about my bank account and gain back a few years. Hey, it's better than reality where an emotional outburst of stress can literally shave hours off of our lives. Number 8. Sponge The sea sponge could very well be the first animal to have existed on the planet Earth. A constant battle in the scientific community between which is the oldest, a recent study at MIT may finally put the debate to rest. Taking rock samples dating back 640 million years, MIT researchers discovered a molecule embedded in the ocean bedrock that could have only been made from the sea sponge, or its distant relative. Those same molecules can be pulled from sponges today, which gives the sponge contender a leg up in the age-old battle between the oldest of Earth. The test dated the sponge at around 2.5 billion years old. What's more interesting is that the Cambrian explosion, when animals took and dominated the Earth, occurred about 540 million years ago, which is only half the life of the life of this sponge, the oldest creature on Earth. Number 7. Goblin Shark Many of the oldest living species on the planet reside in our oceans. If you haven't already put two and two together, if you remember, all life started in the sea. 
So it's not really a surprise. Which brings us to this next point of our list, the goblin shark. The goblin shark is one of the strangest looking I've ever seen with a name fitting for its face. From its massive nose to its wild and spindly teeth, the goblin shark can trace its ancestors back to the time of dinosaurs, where its distant relatives once swam with great monsters of the past earth. As strange and fear-inducing as the sharks may have been, it's infrequent that you'll see one out in the wild. They reside in the deepest part of the ocean, where only extreme divers and scientists would dare venture. They pose no threat to humans because of this. Just how deep do these things go? About 1,200 meters, which puts this terrifying looking creature in the same boat as other terrors of the deep, like the anglerfish. I mean, these things are just plain scary looking. Number 6. Martialis Horeca Ant This furry little ant is the oldest animal on land with its forebears tracing back 120 million years. The ant is so rare that it was only just photographed in 2003, and to this day, it remains the only image of the elusive insect. Though the first live specimens were discovered in 1921, knowledge about these elusive insects still, well, eludes us. With such rare sightings comes rare study time, and even in captivity provides little time to gain anything of value, they never survive more than a day in captivity, averaging death in a matter of just a few hours. You can imagine how frustrating it must be for one who is trying to gain insight into the remarkable creature. Little is known about the ant, whether it's poisonous, whether they're hidden colonies somewhere in the Earth's crust, or even where to begin searching as all the past sightings have turned up dry for years now. Number 5. The Frill Shark The frilled shark is definitely one of the strangest and most terrifying sharks of the deep blue. Its movements are more of a slither than a swim, and it resembles a giant snake or eel more than a shark. Then it opens its mouth, revealing a chasm so monstrous and fear-inducing that I'm forced to make a bathroom break during the research for this one. I mean, this thing is credited as the inspiration for many ancient mythology and tales of giant sea serpents and terrors of the sea. This means the frilled shark has been a subject of human history since cave walls were used as the canvas of myth and lore. But what lies behind those alien eyes and snake-like grin? 300 razor-sharp teeth assembled neatly in rows of 25. That makes eating creatures with even the toughest hides as easy as biting through a warmed stick of butter. Like a snake, it can dislocate its jaw to swallow prey much larger than its body weight, and with a slow digestion process that leaves it visible in the bowels of the shark, it's no wonder our ancient ancestors drew warnings of the monster that is the frilled shark. Number 4. Tadpole Shrimp the tadpole shrimp is like the little brother to the horseshoe crab, looking almost identical other than the smaller scale. The tadpole shrimp has been around this earth for 200 million years and is typically found in the dry desert areas of national parks and wildlife preserves due to the low casualty from human intervention. The tadpole shrimp makes up a diverse set of species. About 10 are still known to inhabit the freshwater environments where they once thrived in ancient times. They can lay eggs by the millions and each and every one with the ability to survive for tens of years. The tadpole shrimp has become one of the most well-adjusted species on the planet, outliving many predators that once considered the shrimp its primary food source. With expert camouflaging and extraordinary preservation methods, the tadpole shrimp has survived the harshest conditions our planet has ever seen. They may be small, but they're mighty. I'd say this little guy is as robust as they come. Number 3. Honey Mushroom I know what you're thinking, what kind of fish has a name like this? Well, it's not a fish, it's indeed a mushroom, named honey, not for their sweetness, but for their golden coloring. It's important to realize that there are many types of honey mushrooms, most of them being extremely toxic. For any amateur naturalist out there, make sure you're picking the right one for the right job because you could end up sick or dead if you can't distinguish the many types of mushrooms that boast the iconic golden color. Some of the edible mushroom species have been credited as being a delectable and sweet flavor, but more often than not, they're bitter. You can find these mushrooms in many cuisines around the world, like casseroles, pastas, soups, and stuffing. The key here is to make sure that your stomach can handle the stress before you go diving. Start small, people. Number two. Old Chico 
Old Chico is a tree in Sweden that still stands and flourishes today at the whopping age of 9,500 years old. That would mean that this tree sprouted during the last ice age. That's a sturdy old tree and has been through a lot. It's been a nature lover's destination over the years where a picture standing before its impressive stature is now commonplace. Even in the pictures, there is something strong and powerful about the tree, how it towers above each person in the photos, even though it's not a huge tree. I don't know what it is, but there's a presence around that makes it feel existential. If you've ever visited the magnificent redwoods in Northern California, perhaps you know the feeling, one of humbling in the face of Mother Nature's real power, or her influence over humans who seem keen on opposing her will. The tree isn't the biggest or the sturdiest, but it's still standing tall at 16 feet. It's what's beneath the ground that makes the tree so fascinating. With a tree as old as Chico, you can't imagine how extensive its root network is, and you still wouldn't be able to fathom it. The truth of the matter is, they don't know how deep it runs, just that at one time, its roots ran from the former British Isles through the ice bridge that once connected the Isles to Europe, and all over Europe. That's one extensive root system. Number 1. The Thousand Year Rose Sprouting from the ashes of the bombed Hildesheim Cathedral in 1945 were 25 sprouts of new roses, even when the rosebush and everything around it had burned down to its roots. In fact, it's the only location in the world where these magnificent and magical roses can be found. Today, it's over 1,000 years old, making them the world's oldest roses. Scientists are still baffled at its rise from the ashes and its extremely long lifespan. It's speculated that the ash had created a unique and fertile soil. Again, that theory goes out the window when you consider that after the bombing of the cathedral, it was only a matter of days before the miracle flowers sprouted their beautiful heads out of what was otherwise known as ash, debris, and destruction. The city and cathedral have since been rebuilt, and the roses are still flourishing every day. With its deep history in the small village of Hildesheim, its people have considered the rose a symbol of strength and perseverance that the people there possess, and it's often said that as long as the thousand-year roses continue to grow, the city and its people shall prosper. Hey, that hasn't proven false yet. More power to you! There are many species on our Earth, but only a handful that can trace its ancestral heritage back millions or even billions of years. These creatures tell a lot about our ancient past, if only they could speak and weren't so darn elusive or dangerous or out of reach. With some ancient species after millions of years finally nearing extinction and others just as prevalent and handy as they were a billion years ago, it brings attention to the fact that many species were here before us humans and will probably be here long after.